Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost, and welcome back on the part of Horizon Zero Dawn. Just gonna bump this. Hopefully all doing good. Um, a lot happened here. Damn. A lot happened here. It's great to see you keeping up for me, er errand. But yeah, hopefully all doing good. Um, this is part 15, I think. And we're doing the Field of the Fallen what are mission. Doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. It's alright, Erin. My man, I'm gonna help this you. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Make sure we didn't take down any machines, that was all Erin. I literally just got here. To get started. Are you sure you're alright? Well, I'm sober, so... no. I actually like Aaron, he's probably my favourite character. Other than Aloy or Ross, actually no Ross takes the cake, but Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. And let me guess they're all dead. Best men. But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. Dumb. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They'd been licking their wounds for two years, but... They finally found a way to get back at her. Hmm. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come yeah, on, follow there me. we go. Right, so... Basically, for those that don't know, who are new here, um, there's a full playlist in the description, so do I check out what I've done so far, but... Um, we went to Muradin, we found that his sister is gone, and this is where she was ambushed. She believes dead, I think? I think she's dead. It doesn't make sense. So... We're gonna find out what happened to her. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. So we're just following Erend, um, currently, to where his dead sister was found. Fun. It's basically your average Sunday afternoon. I'm just kidding, it's not Sunday, it's actually Tuesday. Almost there. I'm doing this one day early than I would. Normally I'd record it on Wednesday, goes up on Thursday, but no, I'm, today I'm doing Tuesday for some reason, so whatever. I just had more time in my hands. I was playing the game last night to grind some levels. Like, you know what? I, I can't be arsed playing this tomorrow, yeah, this so I'll, I'll do it now. Ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did Something this. there. And that was just errand. Right, what am I looking for here? There's a turkey. Is that what we're looking for? Oh, hold on, hold on. Something there. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Well, that's about weird. Wait, are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, trap maybe. I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. <laughs> Who else would have done that, but because there's no way in hell a machine would. Machines aren't that smart, surely. They can just, you know, 
drag bodies along and place them to like a trap. There's no way in hell a machine would do that. Uh, I hope. Here's one of the new ones. That's a. Well, there's definitely a car. There's one shown up here. So it was human responsibility. They're dead, right? It's not the machines. But the only enemy we've came across with the, the cultist shadow cards are. Unless there's going to be introduced to a new enemy, which I don't see why we would, but who knows. Maybe we will. Uh, where are we going? I assume we're going up there. It makes sense to go with, you know, the big thing. Yeah, we're going up there. Alright. I'll probably cut some of this out, to be honest, and just wait till we get to the actual... Oh, okay, I'll, I'll let the talking commence, but... There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. So this is a level 19 mission, I'm currently level 18. So we're one under it, but we should be fine, you know what I mean? So a watcher here, let me just... Take that. Another watcher here with purple on it. Oh, it's ancient debris. J Jomi, Jomai. Oh, there's the car. What is this place? Oh, there's people. There's people. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Oh, wasn't it? Is this how your people usually greet each other? We've got company. Oh. So it wasn't Shadow Karja at all. Man, I should really probably get a new bow. I feel like this one's lacking the power. <laughs> Fuck, someone's just trying to attack me. Come on then, bitch, let's go. Here we go. Right, one dead. I'm taking some arrows from this guy. Here we go. He's now dead. Eren, don't you die on me, boy. You dodged that, you son of a bitch. So it wasn't shot of cards at all, it's the Ozeram, but we've never had to fight these guys before, so I don't see why they're doing it now. I'm gonna get rid of you. And then there's only this guy, I think. I need to heal up after this as well, but... Uh -oh. There we go. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh patch the bed. Oh fuck me sideways, okay. Right, I'll get rid of this one then. There's two of them from what I'm aware of, so. Right, you're gonna bomb. Oh, 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 you missed. Get, get dunked. Oh no, no, you're paying attention to me. Right, this one's about half, so I'm gonna focus on you. I don't. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, now they've both focused me. Get dodged. See, there's canisters on his back, I think that's what I meant to hit. These things are actually not too bad, they're not sawtooths. I, I think they're called scrapples. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. I think that's what they're called, I could be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure they're called, like, scrapples or something. Ravager or that One's dead, one's dead. Right now it's just you. Come on then, let's fight. I see those canisters on your back. Right, 
pick you up. And then back to the fire arrows, I had it. But, you know. Get it burning. Nice. There we go. I'm gonna loot those machines because they're gonna have something for me. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong. Oh, that was wrong as well. As usual. So now those, so they did introduce us to a new enemy then, because this is the first time we've had to fight these guys. I have to know what really happened. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah well. Right. Okay. Oh, where's those machines? Let me loot them real quick. Pardon me. Got a treasure box from him. And it's getting dark, which is not fun. Right, what am I looking for? All stuff here. Those rocks. They're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Something hit the rocks. So much blood. A lot of blood. Of people died here. A massacre. What are those leather armor straps? Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Okay. Oh, that's just the Ravager. Right, what else is there? Got that, I think. Yeah, that's the blood stain. There's something up there. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. What's this? Like a tripod? There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Okay. Hello, Erend. This is Ursus Helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but... Yeah, they, they just took her body there. Trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It that makes sense. Waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Oh. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa. Of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right, then then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Okay. And there we go. That's that done. What's next then? To go back to Meridian, I take it. Yeah. That's more level fifteen. So the actual main quest itself, the only just did um, Field of the Fallen was like level 19 This one's a 15, that doesn't make much sense But well let's go do that because this feels like a bit short So I'll meet you guys at Meridian I guess Greetings Aloy I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. 
You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me. Let's go then. The, the Sun King, All I guess. These people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm probably not going to do the full mission if it's long. What I might do is just talk, like, follow this guy, talk to the Sun King and Erend, find out what happened, then do it next episode, like a two-parter, and but it's like two episodes for the one mission, kind of, because we've already finished the main mission, Fuel of the Fallen, but then this one, I don't know about how long it is, so, you know. We'll go with the flow and see how what happens, Ignore you know what them. I mean? Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. So if you can hear that, my PS4 for some, for some reason sounds like a jet, so. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. You say that, but will I really? Mr. Sun King. I think your name is Avad. I think I've heard that before, she unless that's the last the one. Yeah, your name's Avad. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oscar. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Consider it done. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. I'm gonna talk to this guy that in the episode here, like I said. So. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And Unless she's dead, of course. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. The killers who attacked the Nora. Well, that's about fucked, isn't it? I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons. Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad, a Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come? Do you know? Nope. I'm not exactly sure. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. Don't worry, my man, I will, I will. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. No, I don't care about politics, come on. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. 
You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But That's will true. it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? Two of those things are true. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please. Don't worry. I yourself. will. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Oh. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. What a patch cloth was that? Oh, way up there. How fun. Just what I always wanted. Right, well, as I said, guys, that's going to be all from me for this episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. It's been fun. We found out what happened to Ersa and we kind of stuck the next mission. So next time, well, we'll no, I think next time, no, no, we'll, we'll go to there. This will be the next episode. I'm going to split this in two to do. And then next, not next time, but then the episode after that, episode 17, we'll be doing this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, it's been fun, hopefully you enjoyed episode 15, there's a full playlist in the description so do you want to check out everything we've done so far, and yeah, peace.